So we have the Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. This is someone that is very codependent, very like money hungry. This person is materialistic as well. Definitely Earth sign. Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. Now, whoever this person is, this is someone who could have wanted people to believe that you're someone that is codependent, greedy, neglectful, someone that is immature. It's like a lot of people could have viewed you this way after lies were being told. This could be like a scam artist as well. Or this is someone that was trying to project their energy onto you. Whoever this person truly is and people don't know, they wanted people to view you this way. And this could be with a lot of gossip, a lot of lies that were being told about you. And they just weren't true. A lot of people could have started focusing on you based off of these lies. And they're viewing you as someone that is very abundant. You're abundant on your own. You're successful in life on your own. And you're someone that is very nurturing. So if this is someone who wanted you to be seen as someone that was neglectful, this could be when it comes to being a parent. They couldn't get you to be viewed this way because people are seeing the truth. But the way that they wanted people to view you is how people are viewing them. Because it's like people started watching you after this gossip about you started behind the scenes. But they also started watching that person closely. And watching them in ways that they never watched them before. And they started comparing the two. They could have realized that that person was like secretly in competition with you. There's some jealousy here. This person could be someone that's very needy and codependent. And they're very greedy. This is someone who could have felt as if you were getting some type of attention that they wanted from other people or another person. And they tried to defame your character. This didn't end well. Because people are finally seeing the truth. You have the Queen of Wands. So people are viewing you as someone that is very confident, very creative. They view you as someone that's standing out. So you're a leader. Um, the energy that you're in, it's inspiring other people around you. And it's like somebody wanted your energy and they felt like if they could project theirs onto you, they would be able to steal your energy, steal some type of attention that you were getting at this time and it backfired. Yeah. Five of Pentacles. Now this person could have gotten left out in the cold by someone. This could be an ex of someone that could be attracted to you. They're admiring you. They view you as someone that's very beautiful, very confident, very passionate about life. And they detach from this person and they thought since this person views you this way, they could steal your light, steal your shine and get this person to view them how they view you. And this would pull this person back to them. But that, that just did not work. It backfired. Yeah. We have the four of pentacles. Now this person thought they owned whoever the person is that walked away. They definitely needed this person for financial security. But I'm hearing possession. Possessiveness. I'm hearing a possessive karmic ex. This was a karmic partner that this person that admires you was attached to. And they felt like they controlled that person. This could be financially, physically, mentally. Until that person chose to pull back for pentacles. They realized they didn't have any control. 
And if they felt like they were losing control, they blamed you. Yeah. Yeah, the Nine of Swords. This is someone who cannot sleep at night. This person has been going through a lot of stress, a lot of turmoil. It's like they're torturing their self. Because the energy that they're in is what got them left out in the cold, not you and the energy that you're in. Yeah, we have the Eight of Pentacles. Somebody has definitely worked very hard. This could be you. You're someone that works very hard. You've worked hard to get where you are in life. You're also someone that's a very hard worker. So you're someone who does not depend on anyone. You're not codependent. You're independent. This is why you stand out. This is why you're able to inspire other people around you and a lot of people are looking up to you. Now, this energy could be someone that's a scam artist. They like to steal. They like to destroy people's lives. This is someone who is very sneaky, very conniving. And whatever they do, they feel like they're going to get away with it. It's not going to come back on them. And they could be so accustomed to doing negative things to people, deceiving people to the point where whatever they're going through now, they didn't expect to go through. It's coming back at a time that they would least expect. And it's hard for them to mentally um, take it all in because they thought that they got away with it. We have the Wheel of Fortune. So this is someone who thought that they would be able to steal another person's destiny. Maybe this person was working hard to try to get someone to believe that you were crazy. Or this could be some type of magic, mental magic, that was placed around you. Or they thought they placed over you to make you go crazy. And they would be able to hold on to your counterpart, your destined partner. That didn't work. This is someone who was working on their self and they did not know. Because I keep hearing torturing their self. They were torturing their self. This person only deceived their self thinking that they would be able to steal your destiny. Steal your energy and leave you in theirs. This is someone who could have been doing this work for a long time and they were just waiting. Waiting and waiting and waiting with the two of wands and the strength card to try to pull on your energy or to gain your strength and your energy your confidence and it just couldn't be done this person is heartbroken because they feel like you're emotionally satisfied you're physically satisfied and they're so focused on you they view you as someone that's very focused in life this person is learning a major lesson that they did not expect to learn. Yeah. And they're panicking. This person is worried about something. They could be worried about people finding out what they actually thought they could do. Because they don't want people to view them as someone that's crazy. Yeah, somebody wants to be you. We have self-worth. You're someone who knows your worth. You have self-control, self-worth, self-love. This person doesn't. And they never expected to get caught. So they've gotten caught. It's like somebody knows that this person wants to be you. This could be the person they feel like walked away from them because they know they share divine 
destiny divine path with you but it could also be other people as well people are seeing that this person wants to be you and if they were trying to confuse people in the past about you these are people that are seeing why they were trying to confuse them about you yeah you have I've healed so this could be you or this could be your divine partner. They could have healed. This is someone who was only using your person. They only wanted money, money hungry. And if your person realized that they were being used, they chose to move forward. They chose to pull their energy back from that person and release the energy that they were in with I've healed being here that attracted this person. Yeah, your person could have came from a toxic family dynamic where there was a lot of broken promises. You have this is your twin soul. And they could have been in an energy where they suffered from abandonment issues. They needed to feel loved. Um, they wanted to feel wanted. Appreciated. And they were running into all of the wrong type of people. It ended in betrayal, heartache, emotional pain. And they've healed and learned whatever lesson it is that they needed to learn from this person. And now that person is out in the cold. And whatever lesson this individual needed to learn, they weren't going to learn it from your person because your person is the total opposite of them. So now it's like they're going to attract someone that is just like them. That's going to issue them out karma. But also going to teach them the lesson that they need to learn. That your person could not teach them. Yeah. We have positivity. And then we have Libra. You could be a Libra. One of these people could be a Libra. Your person views you as someone that is very positive. You're a positive force in their life. And nobody compares to you. They've never met anyone like you before. If your person suffered from abandonment issues and different things like that, um, they were dealing with a lot of childhood trauma. Things that they could not control that happened to them when they were a child. They carried it on into their um, adulthood. They didn't know how to release it. It's like they just buried it. And they could have been using different things to... Um, they could have been using different things to cope. And these things were things that are toxic attachments. It's like they were trying to bury... Things that will eventually things that they would eventually have to face. Yeah. And um they could have been afraid of you. If you're someone that is if you're someone that was able to see your person for who they truly are, this could have scared them. Because nobody is able to discern them. Or see them for who they truly are. It's like seeing through a mirror. This is your twin soul. So it's like a mirror effect. The similar things that you've went through. They've went through. You could be someone that was more mature. Than your person. Or more confident than your person. In certain areas. There could be an age difference as well. But they viewed you as. Someone that's very positive, but they didn't feel positive about their self at that time. So they could have ghosted you, distanced their self from you. They just didn't feel good about their self. 
but this energy that you're in, it has them feeling good about their self. It has them in the energy of seeing their worth. Now they're feeling positive about their self. And they were able to heal. It's like your person was accustomed to one night stand hookup type of energies and they kept running into karmic partners. And this is what was keeping you and your person apart. Karmic debt. Yeah. And trauma. You have toxicity. This card also has bound on it. Addictions, patterns, energy vampires here. So they could have kept running into people that were very draining. And before you gained the confidence and the courage this could be before you got in the energy that you were in. If you were mirroring a lot of trauma, um, you and your person have dealt with similar things in life. You could have ran into a lot of people that were very drained and people that wanted to have you stuck or feel make you feel like you need to be bound to them or, you know, codependent to their energy. It's like you change something. You chose to stand your ground or stand up for yourself. And this has given your person the inner strength to do so. It's like something has you very focused and it could be because you've ended out a toxic karmic cycle. You've made this change with the will of fortune. This is a change that nobody expected for you to make not even your person or whoever this karmic partner is that wants to be you if this person knew who you were to your person before your person knew or before you knew about the journey that you share with your person um they felt like they had one up you know they would be able to confuse your person confuse you and you would never find out the truth they would never find out the truth with the queen of wands being here it's like you've stepped in your power you've showed this person at a time that you didn't know this person felt like they had caught judgment on your destiny and they were going to steal your energy be you on your path yeah, it's like showing someone better than you could tell a person, but not knowing that this is what this person have planned out. You don't know their hidden motive. It's like you underestimated this person not even trying to. Because you didn't know the hidden plans they had for you and your person and the path that you and your person share, the destiny that you and your person share. Yeah, you have apology, forgiveness, guilt. Somebody wants to speak their heart. They want to apologize. This could be your person if they just disconnected from you. Somebody wants to um, confess something. Union, yeah. Definitely your person. They want to come in union with you. And you have feeling trapped thoughts so this person that wants to be you this person is definitely trapped in their head they're realizing that they overthought the whole situation everything that they were thinking they could do when it comes to your destiny your person's destiny it couldn't be done this was something that they imagined they made their self believe and now they're stuck in that train of thought Trying to do something that cannot be done. This person could like be still watching you. Um, if this is something that took place in the past, this could be going on now or this could be getting ready to happen. So you have to take it where it resonates. But if this is a situation that took place in the past, people are seeing that this person lied. 
This is someone who wants to be you. They were in competition with you. This person is someone who they're stuck, focused on you and the union that you share with your person. It's like they can't get out of um, being obsessed with the connection. They can't move forward. And this is because they've wasted so much time believing things that was not true. It was only an illusion that they placed over their self. And it was all in their head. Hold on, I gotta turn this light on. We have nostalgia, so yeah. Whoever your person is, this person definitely misses you. They know who you are to them. We have unexpected. So something unexpected could be getting ready to happen or with nostalgia being here, the actions, the things that took place in the past, your person wasn't expecting it or this energy that wants to be you. It's like you have spirit guides. So you're being guided on your path in your journey. You were protected for whatever this person thought in their head that they were going to do to make you look a certain way that you're not. This is why this took place behind the scenes and it didn't affect you. You have divine guidance. And that's something that this person does not have. So them believing that they would be able to steal something that's not theirs. It has them feeling more trapped. And they're worried because they don't know what's going to happen. There's no telling what this person got behind the scenes and did other than gossip and spread lies about you, secretly copy you, compete with you. It's like this person could have did a lot of things out of desperation to get your person to come back toward them. Yeah, they're definitely watching you like a hawk. It's like they're completely obsessed with trying to steal your ideas, copy your work, trying to feed off of your energy. This is definitely an energy vampire. And they feel bound. This person feels stuck. You have child services. So this person could have contacted child services if you have a child or children. Made some false accusations to make it seem like you're someone that's unfit with the Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. You're someone that's a scam artist. You're deceptive. You're a thief. Yeah. It's like somebody got that desperate. This is someone who wanted your kids to be taken from you they wanted you to be in the three of swords because they were in the three of swords it's like somebody was trying to break you and they felt like if they can get you at their at your lowest they could steal your energy from you this person actually reported something to child services about you and this may not resonate with everyone if you don't have a child or children but this is going to resonate with someone Somebody got that desperate. You have divination abuse. This person is someone who is often to casting spells, using dark magic over people. And they could have used some type of magic or some type of spells to get people to help them. Create some type of illusion around you. Spread negative gossip about you. Yeah. Yeah. This person could have also tried to make it seem like you were off into divination abuse. 
especially if you're someone that reads cards yeah if you're a tarot card reader this and this person knew that you knew about your destiny you're someone that's in tune you're receiving messages from the universe you've woken up you're aware with the queen of wands you're standing in your power they wanted you to be seen as someone that they are somebody that's off into spells this could be candle magic this person could do readings or they could get tarot card readings yeah and it's like right after they did this they were celebrating wow but you have stalker popping out in the reverse so they felt like your person was watching you and they felt like this will stop your person from focusing on you if this is your person you and this person this is your twin so there's nothing that could happen in your life that will stop your person from paying attention to you if anything, it made them want to focus on you more if they were confused about what was going on around you in your life. Whatever major change that you were going through and not expecting with unexpected being here in your life, it was like a major change for them. It was like unexpected news for them. And this person didn't know that. They didn't know the effect that you have on your person and the effect that they have on you as you and that person mirror each other and share the same soul. Yeah. We have move in silence. This is someone who definitely felt like your person will stop talking to you. So this could be, or they felt like this would never come out with moves in silence being here. This person also wanted to keep you quiet. This was supposed to scare you, make you be quiet. Um, they could have been afraid of you exposing who you are to your person. Yeah, this was a tactic. This was supposed to shut you up. If people would believe that you're someone that's off into dark magic, <laughs> if you're someone that's off into dark magic and divination abuse, you would be so ashamed of using your intuition. If you're a tarot card reader, you would stop reading tarot. You wouldn't be able to discern what's happening in the connection that you share with your person. This person thought that they had done shut you up and they were celebrating. You would be afraid to tell your person the truth. And I'm getting you weren't counting on, um, you weren't planning on exposing something to your person or you could have already exposed something to your person you could have exposed some type of divination abuse some type of spell work magic that was being done over them i'm hearing blood magic and this was supposed to shut you up after you exposed the truth you warned your person about a certain person that they were attached to that's often to divination abuse they never expected for you to find out the truth this is someone that thought that they were going to be you. You had no knowledge of your destiny and your person wouldn't have any knowledge. They had all the knowledge and control. And they were using magic over you and your person to keep you and your person apart. All of this backfired. Yeah. Because your person stepped in their power as well. Yeah, and they realized, it's like they didn't want to, as I said, that whatever was done in the past to confuse, to create confusion around you, they viewed the situation as somebody must be hating on you. They definitely view whoever this energy is as a happiness hater, a secret hater. They don't want your person to be happy. If they found out the truth about what this person did to you. Yeah. You have looking you up. Researching you. Studying you. Getting information on you. Because they see that your person was focused on you. And they weren't focusing on them. Yeah. We have reflecting. It's like your person started doing a lot of soul searching 
Because whatever encounter you and them had, it's like they mirror. They, it was like the mirror effect. They seen something in you that they didn't see in their self. So they went and did a lot of reflecting. They went in solitude. They started releasing what doesn't serve purpose in their life. They started healing. And as I said, somebody didn't want to take accountability. They wanted to blame you. They were going to punish you for your person choosing to heal, choosing to move forward in life and pull their energy back. This is someone who felt completely rejected. And they felt like at this time, you were too busy winning. You weren't focused on um, the connection that you share with your person. You were solely focused on you. They couldn't stand it because they felt like in the end, there's a union. There's a union that is supposed to happen between you and your person. And they were going to make sure that did not happen. They were going to make sure they could keep you and your person apart. Not knowing they made their self believe they could do this. Something that could never be done. And they're feeling trapped in this thought. This was definitely a third party interference. Yeah, that was secretly at war with you. This was a feminine energy. And they got upset because your person was no longer interested in them with uninterested being here. This had nothing to do with you. It's like if this person was supposed to teach your person a certain lesson, they learned that lesson and they move forward. This person, this feminine energy didn't learn whatever lesson they needed to learn because they weren't supposed to learn it from your person. This is someone who is going to go through karma after your person walk away. After your person pull their energy back. This is someone who thought that they were going to be rich. They would gain some type of inheritance. They, didn't, they would hit the jackpot. Because this person is a scam artist. So this is someone who does not think about doing things practical. Or logically, they take the easy way out. They like things to be handed to them where they don't have to work for anything. And if they can manipulate and trick somebody or anybody for whatever they want, they're going to do so. So they just did what they were accustomed to behind the scenes and it all backfired. Yeah, because you're standing in your power. this is someone who knew that they were a karmic partner to your person but they felt like they hadn't been doing any work while they were attached to your person they felt like whatever magic or spells that they were using over your person it had them stuck that long however long they were attached to your person they would always be in that energy they would always feel stuck they wanted the the worst for your person and you could have been praying for the best for your person Yeah, you could have been praying for your person after you exposed the truth. And if your person ghosted you, you didn't try to control the situation. You didn't sweat your person or try to get your person to believe whatever you warned them about was true. You could have just prayed about the situation and you've moved forward. That has helped them to move forward. It's like your prayers were answered in the past. Things are being worked out behind the scenes for you and your person. 
This is someone who was praying on your downfall and your person's downfall because they felt like if they could keep you and your person in a low vibrational energy and in separation, attached to a lot of negative karmic debt, they would have control. And it's like, it's not make, this is someone who was not making something make sense. If you're someone who cannot manifest your destiny in a low vibrational energy, you don't have any knowledge of your destiny. You're not getting on the right path. You're choosing to stay stuck on the wrong path. How can someone else that's in that same energy that knows knowledge and they're not doing anything positive to try to help you along your journey, how can they manifest something that's destined for you? And even if they were doing something positive to help you on your journey, they still would not be able to have control over what's destined for you, what God has for you. This person was playing with magic, playing with something they know nothing about, and they made their self believe something that was not true. Now they're stuck believing something that's not true. Yeah. Okay, your person ghosted you in the past because they wanted you to chase them. So this could be the forgiveness, apology. Your person was definitely accustomed to keys on the ring. They had options. They were hooking up with multiple people, not just this person. This one person just felt like they had some type of knowledge that your person didn't know you didn't know. And when they found out you knew, they wanted to take you out. They wanted to take the competition out of here. They viewed you as competition. And this is someone who was already causing a lot of deception. When they found out you knew the truth, they started panicking. Yeah, we have federal case. Somebody could be facing some type of federal charges or there could be some type of federal, federal case that someone's wrapped up in. You have getting to know you, mature conversing. Your person wants to have a mature conversation with you. They want to get to know you. They feel like they never got the chance to get to know you. Or you and them never had the chance to get to know each other. Karmic justice is being served. So if somebody is fighting a legal situation, this could be this karmic partner that was trying to be you. They wanted to steal your destiny. They're facing some type of federal charges. And this is karma for what they did to you. If you were facing some type of legal situation for false accusations, this is their karma. This person could be facing federal charges for theft fraud and different things like that yeah i've been practicing celibacy so this is your person they've completely pulled their energy back from these options these one night stand energies these keys on a ring yeah this is someone whoever this person is they thought they had the power to block your blessings and they tried but as I said, they made their self believe something that could not be done. This is someone who was under investigation. You have equal give and take. Your person views you as their equal and they want equal give and take with you. We have spirit baby. So you're meant to have a spirit baby with your person. Your intuition was correct about this karmic partner using magic spells over your person. You're very intuitive. This is why this person started spying on you, researching you. Now I'm getting whoever this person is. This person knew about the twin flame journey. They knew your person was a twin while they were attached to them, but maybe they didn't know who their twin was. You exposed the truth with exposure being here to your person about someone around them or they're interacting with using divination abuse, um, spells, magic over them, dark magic. And this is when this person started spying on you. They started researching you. 
and they found out who you were to your person. Yeah. Use your intuition. You're someone that uses your intuition. And they never expected for you to use your intuition. Your person to use their intuition. They walked away from this person. You and your person are in separation. Now, whoever your person is, you and this person connect through music. So if they're wanting forgiveness, they want to apologize to you. They're sending you a lot of music. Um, this is like heartfelt music as well. Yeah, I'm hearing a lot of love songs. Your person have been sending a lot of uh, telepathic communication to you. They want you to know how they feel. Um, they're in love with you, but they also want to apologize for the error of their ways, the way that they treated you. I've been watching you for so long. Yeah, I'm hearing that song, Come and Talk to Me. I think that's about Jodeci. Yeah. So maybe that song resonates with you. I found out my karmic soulmate slept with your ex. So this is someone who found out that this person slept with your ex. If this energy slept with your ex, this could be while you were attached to your ex or after you walked away from an ex. They knew about who you were before you walked away from your ex. This person, if they slept with your person while you were with your ex, that was a way they felt like that they can pull on your energy through your ex. Yeah. But you could have been um, on your way out of that connection. So you weren't connected to that person in that way. You weren't being intimate with that person on any level. Yeah, so none of it worked. I'm secretly obsessed with you. Your person is secretly obsessed with you. I'm woke because of you. Yeah, so whatever you want your person about, this has them wide awake. This has definitely helped them along their journey that they're on in separation from you. This has helped them to do a lot of reflecting and release what doesn't serve purpose on their journey. I want to marry you and have kids with you. So this is someone who definitely wants to be in a commitment with you. Nobody knows me like you do. I'm sorry for wanting you to chase me. I found out my karmic soul may set you up. So they're finding out. This person definitely set you up to deal with a faulty legal situation. And it's because this person was getting tarot card readings. The readings that they were getting on you and your person, it had the areas because they felt like however your person felt about you, they didn't feel the same way about them. And they thought the magic they were using over your person would make them feel that same way about them. I'm always checking up on you. So this is someone who is always keeping tabs on you, whether you know it or not. I have always seen you in my dreams. I don't want you to worry about the past. I've moved forward. You have a karmic family has found out a karmic soulmate is fake and wants to be you. This card says a family. <laughs> but this could be a karmic family. A family has found out a karmic soulmate is fake and wants to be you. Yeah. 
not only is your person seeing the truth about this person, it's like a lot of people are seeing this person for who they truly are and why they acted the way they acted in the past. Some of these people could have been helping this person behind the scenes. It's like they made these people believe that you did something to them. And you didn't have anything to do with why your person got guarded and walked away. My biggest mistake was lying to you about how I really feel. So they could have not wanted to admit how they felt about you. They didn't want you to pick up on um, how they feel about you or anyone else because it was a secret. Now they feel like this was the biggest mistake. I want to kiss you. And they receive karma for the way that they treated you. It's like the energy that they were in with you, it mirrored back to them. So it's like they went through something 10 times worse. -er. And I'm getting you could have taught your person a lesson. Them wanting you to chase after them, you didn't. Yeah, so it's like they didn't get what they wanted and that definitely affected them emotionally because they're secretly in love with you. So it immediately backfired. This was their karma for how they treated you. Yeah, it's like you taught your person a lesson. And they could be seeing this. It's like you were meant to trigger your person to change. It took you standing in your power and walking away from what doesn't serve purpose in your life using your intuition waking up to the truth gaining clarity about this path this journey in your destiny that you share with your person you being able to discern and expose things that you had no knowledge of your person had no knowledge of and you just didn't believe people would be off into is what helped your person to um, see that they need to change. Yeah, it's like you taught your person a lesson. I want to give you a gift. And you make my heart smile. You are so beautiful to me. You are so fine and you know it. <laughs> I'm healing childhood trauma. And you are one of a kind. So yeah, I think I'm going to close this reading out. I'll pull a couple cards from this confession deck and then I'll close this reading out. So I'm getting you and your person have learned the karmic lessons that you needed to learn. But it's hard for other people that could have tried to um, have you stuck, have your person stuck to learn the lessons they needed to learn. Because these are people that have to learn lessons from other people. They're receiving karma for how they treated you and how they did you. But a lot of karma is coming from other people. People that they didn't expect to receive karma from. A lot of people that they thought would always feel sorry for them. These are people that don't feel bad for them anymore. They can't confuse them or manipulate them anymore. So now that karma is them having to face the truth. And it's like they're being forced to change. Things that they have been resistant to change for a long time. Things they thought they would never have to change. Yeah, these are people that had to learn harsh, painful lessons. They had to learn the hard way. We have healing. I am healing pain from my past. I am working on letting it go. 
so I can be free to fully love you. Your love gives me hope. As I am healing my past and childhood trauma, I just want you to send me love and healing energy. So yeah, both people are healing. And this could be what you're doing. You're sending your person positive energy, healing energy. Um, you're praying for your person. They're doing the same. It's like that mirror effect. We have expectation. This is someone who definitely feel like you're someone who has expectations of them. And they want to... Um, they want to stand for that. They don't want to disappoint you. Yeah, this is someone who just doesn't want to disappoint you because they feel like you have a lot of expectations. So they're working hard on their self. We have wanting. I can't help wanting you sexually. Your energy excites me and allures me. I want your touch. I am craving for you. Your body turns me on. I just want you right now. Please come home, baby. So they're definitely thinking about you in a passionate way. Like they're wanting you. We have follow your bliss. I feel good when I know you are happy. Do something that you enjoy today. Feelings of joy and hope will bring us closer on our journey and will put us at ease. So this is someone who is happy when they know you're happy. If they were in an energy where they were just hooking up with people, they were in a very lustful energy, they're no longer in that energy. This is someone who wants to make love to you. They want to be in a committed, loving um, relationship with you. And they want you to be happy. It's like they've released the energy that does not serve them. Energy that attracted um, lustful energies. We have divine guidance. I am amazed at how the universe has brought us together. Everything keeps falling into place for us. There are divine forces at work guiding us to union. Divine is working behind the scenes for us. If you look back on our journey, you will see it too. So this is someone who is definitely thinking about everything that took place in the past up until now. And they're amazed at how the universe has brought you and them together. It's like they're finally following the signs. And the connection that you and your person share, it's like it's a spark. That is undeniable to you and your person and everybody around you and your person. They feel like you're the miracle that dropped into their life and lit them from within. The love that you and them share is eternal. And they feel like this is a connection that don't need to be rushed. Because you and that person are all, this is always going to be your person no matter what. Nobody can change that. Time can't change that. This is someone who views you as someone that is very valuable to them. And it's not valuable like money. This is someone who appreciates you as a person. They appreciate you being their person. You've helped them to release fear. You've helped them to face things that they never thought they would face and they just didn't want to face at an unexpected time. But now they're proud of whatever it is that they went through in the past. It's like they've accepted it, they've released it, and they've moved forward. They feel like it needed to happen in order for them to move forward. We have mine. So this is the last card. I want to take the honoring path towards you. So I am taking responsibility for my situation first. I'm coming forward to tell you how I feel. I know I have what it takes to make you mine. I am ready for our new beginning. 
So yeah, this is someone who is definitely taking responsibility for their actions. And they're finally, um, they're finally moving forward and ready for this new beginning with you. They're already viewing you as someone that is theirs with the mind being here. 